would I buy Litecoin in the bear market? All right, I can already hear some of your voices in my head. Amongst the people that I know in this space, I am alone on Litecoin Island, and the rest of you are saying something along the lines of, I don't even know what this word means, but Litecoin, don't buy Litecoin, bro. Litecoin is bussin'. I, I, maybe that's bad, I'm not sure. But yes, I am gonna be buying Litecoin in the bear market. That shouldn't come as a surprise to you. And so let me make a case why. And for those of you who have watched my channel for a while, I'm, I'm sorry, you are going to hear some similar things, but I wanna bring some new information into this as well. And so again, here we go. Litecoin, Bitcoin chart. Here is the history of Litecoin and Bitcoin. And what I want to point out to you is a history of really fast, aggressive moves in comparison to Bitcoin. Now, the, what happened this last cycle? I mean, we did have a really fast, aggressive move. It did not go anywhere near where it went, you know, back last cycle, the cycle before that and all of that. But that will happen. That will happen again. Um, as far as the extent of it, will it go up this high? Will it go up only this high? Even if it were to go up to that level, let's say Bitcoin has crossed an all time high and Litecoin is reaching this new level in comparison to Bitcoin. That is a significant move. And that is something that personally I would, once I saw Bitcoin going to its new all time high, I would want to transfer some of my cash, a decent amount of it to Litecoin and just wait for something like this. But what I'm expecting next time around, next time Bitcoin crosses and holds its all time high is something close to a new paradigm or at least back to the norm that we have seen here with Litecoin reaching this kind of an evalu uh, this kind of a valuation in comparison to Bitcoin. I still think that Litecoin is severely undervalued and that it has a place in the cryptocurrency sphere. Um, and I, I want to point out just another comparison, Dogecoin. This is the Dogecoin all-time chart. It has something similar with these violent moves, another script-based uh, crypto, just like Litecoin. And then all of a sudden, boom, new paradigm. Now, I don't expect something like this to happen with Litecoin. That would mean Litecoin would be well over five figures. But I, I expect something new, something that we would, would blow away all sorts of expectations. And let me make a case for why that that is here so here is look at the line here this is this is the litecoin bitcoin valuation like i just showed on this chart but here is i didn't mean to zoom in there here is the per litecoin percentage of bitcoin total addresses all right picture that so litecoin as a percentage of bitcoin's total addresses now it bottomed out right here in 2017 middle of 2017 and then it's been on a rise and then ever since the middle of 2021 the amount of litecoin addresses in comparison to bitcoin has gone parabolic almost i mean pretty uh, i would say that that's parabolic and it will continue to rise more and more people, people like to think of Litecoin as something that's dying or dead. More and more people are getting in on Litecoin because they're seeing a lot of the same things that I'm seeing. Um, and, and I, I want to say it like this. You are, I've said this plenty of times before, but you are one day not going to be able to get on an exchange and buy Bitcoin. The exchange balances are decreasing. And what I think is that it's something that only miners and then people who decide to make their beds with miners are going to be able to do. In other words, institutions and in deep pockets, all of the new Bitcoin that's coming on the market is going to go to them and we're going to be fighting under the tables for scraps. So then what are people going to go to after that? Well, in my opinion, they're going to go towards digital silver. And what is digital silver? I was on a live stream the other day and people were asking me, um, you know, about Litecoin. And, and I was saying about Litecoin being digital silver. Somebody asked me, isn't that Ethereum? And I said, no. And I, I said, Ethereum is oil. Think of Ethereum like oil. 
It's, it's something you need to run a lot of machines on the internet, but Litecoin is silver. And so then somebody asked me, what would you prefer? Would you prefer oil or would you prefer to invest in oil or would you prefer to invest in silver? And the common sense is, yeah, I would prefer to invest in oil, but think about this. If gold bugs could not buy any more gold, what would they buy? Would, that, would they buy oil or they would buy, would they buy silver? And again, one day we're not going to be able to buy Bitcoin. It's just not happening. I'm sorry. Um, so load up, stack up as much as possible now. When that day comes, the gold bugs, Bitcoin, are going to want to buy silver, Litecoin. So Litecoin makes sense as the best option for that. It's in, in oh man, this is going to get me raked over the coals. Um, I, it's, this is going to be really controversial. I'll just say that. Um, utility is overrated. Utility in bull runs, utility is overrated. A lot of it just has to do with what is the narrative. Last cycle, last bull run that peaked in May of 2021, the narrative was Dogecoin. It was, I mean, it was really like top 20 cryptos did well. And then Dogecoin and a bunch of meme coins did well. And then it was over. And so the narrative was we saw this happen with Dogecoin and it was this new, I remember people saying this is a new paradigm, Dogecoin isn't going to die and, and all of this stuff, Dogecoin was my best performing crypto last cycle and if you got on Shiba Inu, that's one of the only ones that was probably did even better than Dogecoin and the amazing returns. We're talking about cryptos that when they did those things at least, they didn't really have much utility. Utility. And so Litecoin does have utility, but it's not as exciting as something like a quant or um, what else? I mean, uh, any of the metaverse cryptos or anything like that. And I like boring because that is what the, the common everyday person wants. They, they don't, what are they going to do when they hear the words like sharding or Uraburus? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That doesn't register in their minds, but the average everyday person, they, they see something simple that they can grasp and they're going to run towards that, which is why during retail mania, which happened in the spring of last cycle, they went to Dogecoin because there's nothing confusing about Dogecoin. You know what Dogecoin is. It's a community. It's a meme. It's a joke. And Litecoin is just like Dogecoin, not difficult to understand. And so the next crazy period, the next euphor euphoristic period, I, I am very confident that Litecoin is going to do well. If, if not, if I'm wrong, we are at the very least going to have something like this where you will, it will have been worth it to get in on Litecoin. I mean, March 29th, we already saw Bitcoin cross $60,000 and Litecoin didn't really do much. And then, boom, it shot off to $440. So... Again, I'm expecting that, and I, I haven't even gone through this. I mean, all right, here is Litecoin. Total supply for Bitcoin, 21 million fixed. Total supply for Litecoin, 84 million is fixed. Um, proof of work, proof of work. Majority of algorithm, yes. Block times, think of, think of Litecoin as one-fourth. One-fourth of Bitcoin. So um, 10 minutes for, for Bitcoin, two and a half minutes for Litecoin. Litecoin has a halving, reliability 99.98% for Bitcoin, 100% for Litecoin. Litecoin has never been hacked. Solana has been hacked a lot. Lots of crypto, Ethereum is, was hacked. Um, Litecoin has never been hacked. And then there are exciting things coming with Litecoin. I don't know if we talked about, we saw the cost per transaction. Um, we have Mimblewimble that has made Litecoin, given Litecoin an option of being a privacy coin. I think that's going to be very attractive. And I think Monero is going to be attractive as well. And this gives privacy options for Litecoin. And so um, what else was I going to say about this? There was one other big thing. I, I'm trying to think of what is what is the valuation of Litecoin in the long term. I, this is I know this is going to be controversial. Um, Litecoin is is very high on my list of cryptocurrencies that 
by the end of my life at least, I believe that Litecoin will still exist. And so then I think about I think about all this stuff with hyper Bitcoinization, with people wanting to buy Litecoin, the digital silver to Bitcoin's digital gold. And here's what I really think. I, I think that the true value of Litecoin is somewhere around maybe like one sixteenth of the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is $16,000, then Litecoin's true valuation, when we get to some sort of equilibrium would be $1,000. So $160,000 Bitcoin, $10,000 Litecoin, $1.6 million Bitcoin, dare I say, $100,000 Litecoin, I, I think that's within the, pos the realm of possibility. I mean, I, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. I think it's gonna take a long time for Litecoin to play catch up over the long haul but about 1 16th, maybe I could be convinced in 1 32nd, but still that means that Litecoin is severely undervalued. And so just like Dogecoin has, Dogecoin, even though Dogecoin is down 90% from its high, it's at seven cents right now, peaked at 75 cents. We're not going back to this ever. I, I really don't think, I mean, we're not going back to these lows. We are in a new paradigm with Dogecoin and, I, and I'm expecting something similar to happen with Litecoin. It's just a matter, you know, I know that a lot of people, you know, I, I, I thought that Bitcoin was going to um, not just, you know, tap the, its previous all time high when it got to $69,000 and didn't hold it, but I was going to cross and hold and that would be the fodder for a huge Litecoin run. Well, all right, next time Bitcoin crosses its all time high, um, I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be ready and I'm going to be buying Litecoin. So this is not financial advice. Do your own research, all that stuff. But I, I really hope that this thing right here makes sense. That should be convincing to you. Litecoin is growing. Do not, and credit to Master Bitcoin Litecoin on Twitter. Um, follow him for all the, um, all the latest on Litecoin. But it, it's not, it is not dying. I mean, if you look at this chart, it looks like it's dying. And, and that's, if I'm convinced that something's not dying and I see a chart like this, oh boy. You know, like a, a chart comparing it to Bitcoin, I am in because it's clear to me that user activity is indicating that no, this isn't going anywhere. All right, so that's all I have today for today. I'm assuming this was a longer video. Of course, I'm gonna make a longer video about Litecoin and I hope it was convincing, but yeah, not financial advice. Do your own research, smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in another video. Peace.